Hey, I'm Derek the Undertaker Diedrichsen. As people walk by on the sidewalk here, but we'll pay no mind to them. Uh, I didn't realize today as I started rolling, I'm wearing all black here, uh, which probably isn't a wise choice given it's pretty warm out and sunny. And you probably can't actually shadow why I see my face. So at the expense of me having Kramer-like hair and having just showered, finally he showered. I'm gonna give you a tour uh, here. We won't worry about vanity and aesthetics, uh, as evident by this boat. So this is a, a pocket cruiser or a micro houseboat or shanty boat. Just want to share with you vlog style that I've been working on. I'll be giving you some video updates and uh, some blog updates as well. But it's pretty much an eight foot cabin by about four and a half, five feet wide, a sleep shelter, if you will, atop a John boat that I bought on Craigslist, a bass fishing boat more or less, for uh, for 350 bucks with the trailer. Boats, uh, well, boats 14 feet, like I said, and. Uh, it holds roughly about a thousand pounds of cargo, you know, live weight. The structure here, because I've built similarly uh, similarly sized ones before, weighs in the ballpark of two to three hundred pounds. I'm building it as light as possible, but going with the screw and glue or the nail and glue method to make it very rigid. So when uh, when when facing winds, when on the water, I mean, this is going to be a, a still water craft, but you won't have the thing all twisted and torn apart. But I'm going to bring you in closer to show you a couple things I've been up to and kind of how this is built. All right, so we're going in close now. Here is the uh, exterior siding. And I apologize if, if the uh, wind is kind of messing up the audio here. Doing my best. So here's the stern where the outboard motors will be situated. I got two Evan Roots that came with it, a six and like a nine and a half, I want to say horsepower. Both need work, not sure what I'm gonna do. Might get a Minn Kota maybe, like I said. Kind of figuring things out as I go. Um, the guy I bought this off also built this, uh, he kind of decked this and carpeted the boat, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that in as well. These seats obviously are going to take those out, although I might keep this one back here so I can kind of lounge and run the boat from it. As for the siding, it is cedar tongue and groove, and it was nailed and glued down with construction adhesive. Uh, I might additionally put some screws in, we'll see. Windows exteriorly, <laughs> that's not even a word, mounted on the exterior. Leave it to me to make up some words and butcher the English language. I got this for free from a woman in Easton, same woman who years back was renovating her house and threw away a ton of storm windows, which now pretty much compose uh, or comprise all the windows in my Vermont cabin, if you've seen that video. If not, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So as we go back here, uh, if you look at the front from the side, it's slightly angled backwards. Not that it's going to make it that aerodynamic, I just thought it would look cool. I don't want it to be a straight box. From the sides too, it's angled. You step back and squint your eyes just right. There would be a window here in the front so that when operating the boat, if the back doors, which would be over here, probably have windows as well, were open, you can see straight through the boat as you're operating it, maneuvering it through canals or marsh rivers. Um, probably most of the time, I would be peeking through here, standing up and operating the boat too. But uh, it's a still watercraft. I'm not going to take this out in the ocean so much. But if you step back and kind of squint, you can get a general idea as to the shape and uh, as to what this will look like in the end run. Kind of look, looks boxy and skeletal now, but when it's done, it will be pretty cool. At least I hope so. I have plans. I wish I could show them to you. They're all in my head. Here's kind of what the inside view will be like from the window. I figure put a nice big window in there, which is almost oversized, but when you're sitting inside this little cabin or sleep shelter, you'll have a great view of the, the marshy rivers of uh, perhaps Situate, Massachusetts, the North River there, very historic, very picturesque, where I'll probably do the maiden voyage. Again, it's 14 feet. Trailer has new tires and everything. It's in pretty good shape. No complaints. And uh, inside, like I said, if I take out the carpeting, maybe the deck framing, you know, if I can get under here, will stay. But I'll probably put some kind of tongue and groove flooring or something nice and light. Might consider painting the interior white too, just to give it a real airy and open kind of feel, because it is such a small little cabin. You know, dig, it's not a houseboat, you can't stand in it. It's a pocket cruiser, sleep shelter. That's all I'm going for. Again, I don't have the yard space, I don't have the money. Yeah, some of these materials so far in the boat itself have been inexpensive, but when I do uh, get to the micro uh, mini documentary of sorts on this, it's gonna cost me a lot of money hiring some filmmakers and, and doing some of these shoots. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a Kickstarter thing or what, because I just don't have the money to do it. But anyways, I don't have much space to work on something. My yard is only so big and the neighbors are only so tolerant as already I'm probably lowering their property values visually. 
And I apologize if you're one of my neighbors and watching this, although they're all pretty cool and very understanding and actually supportive. So, I mean, here's pretty much, yeah, it's, it's a Grumman, by the way, if I didn't, yeah, I don't think I mentioned that. I've used a lot of Grumman canoes in the past, and I've loved them, so when I saw that this boat for sale was a Grumman, I hopped on it, and so far I am pleased. We've taken it for a test spin already with my son. It floats. It's uh, pretty stable considering the beam's only about five feet, and I am, I'm happy. Certainly going to be an unconventional quote-unquote houseboat, but it's going to work. And there will be more videos to follow. And there you pretty much have it. Again with the hair. So I put my hair, my hat back on now. It's even worse. He looks like a combination of Yahoo, Sirius, Albert Einstein, and, and who knows? Marty Feldman. <laughs> All very complimentary analogies, comparisons. Uh, my name is Derek Diedrichson. Once again, thanks for joining us. Like I said, we'll have more vlog updates on this and relaxshacks.com. I'm going to have some pictures and I'm probably launching another uh, side website just for this tiny houseboat project. See you guys next time and check out all my tiny yellow house videos as well. See ya.